But LeBron versus Jordan debate will likely reach a new level this season as LeBron is on pace to pass MJ in the all-time scoring list during his first year in L.A. Maybe that's just one of the reasons why Rockets GM Daryl Morey dropped the hottest of takes on the GOAT discussion today. You just look at his ability to, you know, generate wins and championship probability over time and, and you basically break that down. And obviously, you don't need all the numbers. You can watch as well and see that. But but if you if you basically isolate that and also look at the career he's had, um, you know, frankly, I think it's a, it's a it's at this point, it's become a bit of a big margin, actually, where he's he's come out ahead. I know that's a little controversial. Namori clearly loved the analytics, and you take a look at the, some of the advanced metrics. You could make a case for either player, as LeBron has more win shares in his career. Jordan, though, had a higher usage percentage and player efficiency rating. But, again, it's all about the numbers that you choose to look at. Now, Stephen A. Smith, host of the Stephen A. Smith Show on radio and First Take, joins us now on SportsCenter. Now, Steve, you've on the record of saying that you believe Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. But here's the thing. Maury didn't just say LeBron was better than Jordan. He said it's not even close to that. You say what? Well, to that, I say Daryl Morey is a wonderful executive. He's my buddy. I love him. I don't want to hear him on this particular subject, to be quite honest with you. He's incredibly prejudiced when it comes to the numbers, but evidently doesn't think about that when it comes to his own team. I ask you a simple question, Mike Eves, although rhetorically. Look at the kind of superstar that James Harden is. Whose game does he resemble, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? And oh, by the way, while you're at that, who did Daryl Morey go out and get? So this man Man could have a team that was that was a contender. He got a scoring assassin, somebody that could put the ball in the hole from virtually anywhere, somebody that obviously was supposed to be able to close, although he's run into some roadblocks there, not just in his own career from his own performance, but running into the Golden State Warriors just recently. But my point is very, very simple. LeBron James is great. He's fantastic. He's one of the greatest players in NBA history, top three all time. Fine. But when money time arrives, there are a bevy of players that you would pick before LeBron James. They ain't, I don't know of anybody that you would pick before Michael Jordan. And every, everything doesn't get measured in numbers. Sometimes the level of greatness is defined by the moment of adversity that is presented to you and for you. How do you respond in those moments? LeBron did very, very well this year. Jordan did that throughout most of his career. Well, let me ask you this, Stephen A. How indicative is Maury's argument of the overall scope and impact of analytics on today's NBA? Because Jordan didn't have that when he played back then. Well, listen, the bottom line is this. you got some players that's playing for the numbers. But Daryl Morey doesn't talk enough about that. I am not trying to poo-poo analytics and act like it plays no role. Pat Riley was using analytics in the 90s for crying out loud. Plenty of his players would tell you that. This is not foreign. It's just that, it, you know, the advent of it has escalated exponentially over the last several years. But let's be very, very clear about something here. There have been many players, and LeBron could be accused of being guilty of this from time to time, where you're playing for those numbers. You're cognizant of those numbers numbers you're making sure that the world knows you got yours you did your part and you losing is not necessarily your fault there are many players that have done that throughout NBA history particularly in this day and age in this era because you have guys individual brands that have become so important to them that obviously they focus on that back in the day please it was rough rider mentality and Michael Jordan was going up against rough riders and dominated yeah. I'm sorry to me it's not a discussion